Hello, my name is Blagojo Stochevsky from Victoria University. Today we are going to cover the concept of an artificial transmission line looking at both the wiring and calculation aspects. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what an artificial transmission line is, it basically is a mimicked version of a real life transmission line, however with reduced cost. Before we start this experimentation, it is very important to understand the occupational health and safety guidelines. If we now have a look at our artificial transmission line, you can see that we have 12 inductors, all of which are labelled. We also have 12 resistors. And also we have 24 capacitors. Alongside we also have circuit breakers and also four electric fans. This particular artificial transmission line mimics a 300 kilometer line. Segment one is, is for 75 kilometers. Segment two is also for 75 kilometers. Segment three is another 75, as is segment four. Besides this, what we need to use is five power meters, which will be connected both in a three phase and single phase configuration. We also need our transformer bank. As you can see from the transformer bank, we have a red, yellow and blue wire connected directly to the artificial transmission line. We also have a black wire, which represents our neutral connection but also an earth wire, which is also on the artificial transmission line. Besides that, from the transformer bank, we also have a red, yellow, blue and black wire connected to the transfer terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4. These transfer terminals directly correspond to position 1, 2, 3 and 4 on our main panel. We can now begin our no-load test both on free phase and single phase connections. First and foremost, we must put power to our main panel. Once power is activated, we can switch on our main circuit breaker. We can also switch on our two auxiliary circuit breakers. We can now come to our transformer bank and switch on the main circuit breaker. At this point in time, we get our power meters and connect it in a three phase configuration. In this particular scenario, it's between phases red and blue. This particular power meter here corresponds to the sending end voltage while the final power meter is the receiving end voltage. We can now raise our voltage to about 415 volts We will wait for the voltage to stabilize. As such, we have 415 volts at the sending end power meter. If we have a look at segment one, it's also 415. Segment two is also 416. Segment 3 is 417 and eventually we have 417 volts at our receiving end. Now, as you can see, there was clearly a voltage rise over the 300 kilometer transmission line. This is known as the Ferranti effect. However, if we now 
change our power meter configuration to a to a single phase configuration so from red to the black wires we can see that our voltage at the sending end is 240 volts while all the way to our receiving end we have a voltage of 229 volts this is a very large drop in voltage from the sending to receiving end due to mutual coupling that concludes our no load configuration however we must lower our voltage in order to switch off the power to our artificial transmission line we press the off button once we press the off button we can automatically cut off our circuit breaker on the transformer bank this automatically switches the main circuit breaker on the main panel at this point in time we can also switch off the two auxiliary circuit breakers as such we can now press the stop button this concludes our no load test for a three phase and single phase artificial transmission line